Hello, my name is Sarah Fife, and thank you for joining me today on Engage Live. Today we're going to talk all things album design. Uh, I recently won the Professional Photographer of Northern Ireland Album Design uh, Award uh, 2016 for an album that I designed. So I'm going to take you through um, that album. Um, I'm going to design it from start to finish and I'm going to share with you my secrets to great album design. Um, I've been in business now 11 years. I have a studio down in Oma um, and I think one of my favourite parts of the whole process of the wedding is actually putting all the images into an album and telling the story. Uh, my background is in design so this may be one of the reasons that um, I really enjoy this part of the process. So um, come with me into the album design and we'll get started. So we're just going to open up Fundy Album Designer. This is the software that I use to design my albums. Um, you'll see that I've loaded all the images into the software here. Uh, the reason I've loaded all the images into the software is that I like to have all the images in front of me when I'm designing. Um, my clients don't actually get to choose the images for the album. Um, I choose all the images for the album. Uh, I pretend to give them a choice and they're allowed to choose the images for their album but before they've even chosen the, Im the images I have the album designed and that's for me one of the key, um, the, the key one of the most important things of designing a good album. You're the photographer, you've been at the wedding, you've shot the wedding and you know what you want to say here. Um, I think if you leave it to the to your clients to choose the images it's going to be harder to design a really nice album. So we're going to start with the groom's prep. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this is that I normally design the album in a chronological order. So uh, the groom was the first to get shot and then the bride. So here we go. So I'm just going to select um, some images. You'll see on my screen here that my page looks um, very landscape. That's because I'm actually designing over two pages, a left and a right, but I design that as one page. And that's, that's just the style of my album design. So I'm gonna select a few images from the groom's prep, um, probably about, I don't know yet, maybe about maximum eight. Um, I think I'm going to give the, the groom one page in the album. <laughs> uh, the bride might get a few more. Uh, we'll see how we go. This can all change as we go along. So I'm just selecting a few photographs here um, of the groom getting ready and I'm going to design, uh, drag them onto the, the page. There's actually nine images coming through there. Um, I'm just going to press a, a button here that will bring me up a few designs that Fundy has kind of pre-designed for me. Um, I find that it's over this top right hand corner that I like to pull my templates from. Um, these ones are a little bit busy for me. Um, so something maybe over here is gonna work for me. Visually, I just know that. Um, I usually like an image that touches the edge of the, the edge, like the border. Um, the whole thing about my albums is there's no mount, there's no mat. Um, they're all sort of, um, edge to edge um, I'll, uh, pages and I would I like the consistency of having that on nearly every page if there's a white border around the images you should have a mat the whole style of these albums is there is no mat so go edge to edge that's only my my reasoning <laughs> um, okay so this is this is where we're at this isn't the groom this is his brother Fundy has brought this picture into the main one Obviously, I'm going to prefer the groom in there. So I'm going to put in a nice shot of the groom um, to use there. Let's see. In fact, I know there's a nicer one yet. We'll go for a wider one there. The groom and his, his best man there just at the house. And then we've got some details here. Normally, I don't mix up color and black and white on the one page um, because I think it looks better either all color or all black and white, but on this occasion, I might break the rules. Um, 
as long as they balance, it's okay. And I'm also looking for consistency here. Um, the groom can't have his braces on in this shot and then have them off in this shot because it's going to look wrong. It'll look like he's taken his braces off. Um, so there's little details like that, like in a good movie, the, the continuity thing going on there. So I'm happy with this image here. I have to be careful though that where the album folds in the middle, that there's nothing important in that, like a big a face or anything in, in, the, in the fold because it just won't look particularly perfect. So I'm happy enough with this for now. Um, I will probably go back through the initial album design and tweak it. Um, that's the way I roll. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I don't think there's anything important that I've left out apart from the groom's mom, which I might bring in here instead of the groom looking in the mirror. Um, yeah, so we'll go with that. Uh, we'll go on to the next page. If I can remember where to go, yep, okay. And automatically a new page appears. Um, that's enough of the groom prep for me. Um, so we'll, we'll ro roll on to the bride's house. So again, there's plenty of photographs here, far too many. Um, there's a baby um, who was the bridesmaid's new baby, things like that. They're on the bride's, the bride has those photographs, but I know for a fact that she doesn't need to be in the album. So we'll ignore the baby. We'll grab maybe a picture of the dress hanging up, uh, or a detail on the dress. Um, again, let's see. I'm thinking black and white here. So I'm just gonna grab a few shots, see how we go. Um, yeah, I'll just drag those in. Let's see. Again, not too many makeup shots, probably just one here. Um, and again, I'm flicking to template designer here to see what I like. Um, again, we're all black and white here. I'm happy enough with that. Um, and I might even just drag the shoes over to the main one just to be different, but not sure. I think maybe this one looks better. Yeah. And this, this picture in the middle here of the shoes is balanced. It's a darker photograph, but it's balanced on the top and the bottom with, um, two similar toned photographs. I've put the shoes to the bottom because they're on the ground. The dress is hanging up, so it's at the top. So that's a, that's a design thing, that's a visual thing. If I swap them around there and let you see, it just, it looks wrong. The shoes should be on the floor. So hopefully that'll help you the next time you're designing an album, um, figure out where to place things maybe. Okay, so I'm happy enough with that. I'm a bit conscious that we're starting on a black and white, primarily a black and white page. We have another black and white page. I might need to tweak that, but I'm going to move on um, because I like to design the album nice and quickly and then come back and tweak things. That's, that's, that's just how I, how, how I work best. So we've got the bride getting her makeup on, the dress is hanging up, the shoes are ready. Um, let's go into some color. So I've got the bridesmaids ready to rock here. I don't know if I really want them individually in the album, but they're there. I'm going to maybe pop them in um, and try and get another colored photograph to match that on the other side. Let's see. Let's see what Fundy says. Again, I'm veering over to the top right. <laughs> I do like layouts like this, but because I've got edge to edge prints, coming through in the first few pages. Um, I'm not sure if this is consistent with the album design. Also, my bride might think my pictures could be bigger. So, you know, you do have to think from a bride's perspective. So, um, I think I'm gonna go for something like this. Again, I'm conscious that my main photographs on all these pages are on the left-hand side. So I'm actually gonna do a flip and make this big picture go on the right hand side. Um, obviously this is the bridesmaid and I can't really put different sizes of bridesmaids pictures on the page. You'll find the bride likes them to be similar size. So I'm going to pull the bride over here and see how that goes. Um, not sure about this. Um, 
I think it could be more interesting, so I'm going to ditch this picture. Uh, let's see what this looks like. And you can see how Fundy is so intuitive. Um, you know, drag and drop, drag and drop. You can see exactly what you're doing here. Um, that looks good to me. I don't know about the bridesmaids there. I think they look a bit samey. Um, so I don't even know if I want... There's plenty of them later on. I don't, don't even think I want the bridesmaids there at all. Um, so I'm going to just drag and drop again. See what I can do here. Uh, I might keep this very simple and just whip out the bridesmaids. I'm probably trying to put too much on a page here, so I'm just going to delete the poor bridesmaids. Take them away. Again, this isn't really doing it for me. There's too much white space here. Um, so I'm going to go back to layouts and see what it, what Fundy says. I'm actually not convinced about this page. I'm going to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to uh, whip it out and put something else in. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'm a bit funny when it comes to the bride and groom prep. I don't like having the bride and groom, even though it's sort of happening at the same time, um, in real time, I don't like having the bride and groom on the same page because it looks like the groom has seen the bride before the wedding. It's just wrong. So um, that's just a funny wee thing that I um, have picked up on. If, if the groom was on the left-hand page even and the bride was on the right-hand page, and the groom was looking left and the bride was looking right. It looks like they're looking at each other, even though they're in completely different houses usually. So um, it's just wee things like that that you have to think about um, when you're designing the album. And again, that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's get back to the bride's prep. Um, just looking at the overall feel there. I am conscious that we're going very black and white here, but I'm going to roll on and not let that annoy me at the moment. Um, I will tweak it or add a coloured page in between. So you have to look at the overall album as well. You can't just look at the pages um, as individual pages. It's a complete album, a complete story. Uh, so, yep, the hardest part is starting the album and then it starts to roll. So I'm just going to choose... I really like this photograph myself. Um, so I'm going to pull this one in um, along with... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. this one of the bride's mum holding the dress because this is the next part of the story um, and I'm going to go to layouts and see what Fundy says um, and I know what I want to do here I want that one to be the big one and I want that one to be the littler one um, but they're in the wrong order um, so I want to swap just with a click and we've got this one so she, the mum's holding up the dress there and the bride's getting into the dress. Again, it's all black and white, so uh, conscious of that, but we'll roll on to the next page. Um, what I'm trying to do is tell a story as well. So, like, the groom had bought the bride some earrings on the morning of the wedding, so I want to show her opening the box and then maybe putting the earrings on, something like that. Um, don't feel bad about just using two images. It's totally fine. Obviously, this little scenario doesn't look good to me. It's there's a lot of wasted space there. So I'm going to go and see what Fundy says again. <laughs> you can see Fundy does most of the hard work here for me. Um, let's see. What do I want? What do I want? Um, let's see. Obviously, I don't want her crop there. Let's see what happens if we swap. Although she has to be opening the box before she puts the earrings on. Um, so... And again, you can just drag and drop. You can, you can move things here. Um, this is her just in the mirror. So again, I'm going to just switch. I'm very happy with that page. That, to me, tells the story. Um, I want someone that maybe didn't even go to the wedding, who couldn't make it to the wedding, when they're looking through the bride's album, I want them to feel like they were there. I want them to know exactly what went on. Um, so you have to sort of keep that in the back of your mind when you're designing an album as well. Okay, yeah, we got a coloured page in there, so <laughs> uh, let's move on swiftly. Time is money. <laughs> okay, little kids in there, yeah, okay, they'll feature later, that's okay, we don't need to go overboard. Um, okay, there's a beautiful shot of the bride on the bed here. So she's upstairs at the minute, she's, she's on the bed, she's just about to come down the stairs, so I'm going to grab a shot, the beautiful shot of her on the bed, 
and I'm going to, going to grab a shot of her walking down the stairs to get her down into the hallway to get a shot with her bri her mum and her dad and her mom her mum and her dad yeah so we'll pull these two again I'm using two images I keep things quite simple um, let's see what Fundy says about these images loving this page but obviously she's coming down the stairs and then she's gone upstairs to sit on the bed again that's wrong so because I was there and I know what happened and the bride knows that that wasn't the way it worked so we'll flip those over much nicer okay again that's just a photograph of her coming down the stairs that I've chosen um, at random there's three or four of those shots which you could put in a sequence if you wanted to but I'm just going to use one um, because that's what I feel like doing today um, and I think I'm happy with the shot that I chose, funnily enough. So, yeah, happy with that. You can do a few wee tweaks there by, you know, getting rid of that little bit of space at the top. It's a wee bit distracting. Remember, there's a tiny bit of bleed on the albums as well, so you'd never want your images too close to the edge, um, especially if there's feet or heads near the edge. When you're designing a, a, a photo that goes right edge to edge, that's what you have to be careful of. So, yeah, happy at that. Um, so she's reached downstairs now um, and do we need to put the photograph of the bride with her mum and dad in? I think we probably do. That's kind of an important one. So let's see. I'll put it on here. This father didn't like having his picture taken so he may be better giving the bride a kiss. Let's see. And I'm not afraid to just use one image on a page and uh, that's totally fine by me. I don't mind a bit of negative space. Let's see. Um, and you can just delete a little bit there if you want. Okay, I'll maybe flip it over. Okay, so um, you can see the middle line here. The blue line is the middle um, crease in the album, in the real live album, and the mother will not appreciate that going right through her eye, it'll, it'll look wrong. So I'm gonna bring it over to the left-hand side. The right-hand side of the page is actually, um, in design terms, uh, one of the most important sides of the page. So I don't feel like I can leave negative space there. It looks to me like something should be there. So I'm gonna find an image to put there. Um, let's see. Um, and go to Fundy and see what the layouts say again. So, let's see. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, um, not totally convinced. I'd like a, I'd really prefer probably an upright image there. Um, let's just see what's on the previous page. That's okay to me. I'll leave it there for now and we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, okay, so we're designing page 13, 14 now. Um, I think we're going to leave the bride's house and go meet the boys at the church. Um, okay. So again, I'll just pull through some important images, I think, that are important. Um, we've got the bride and his mum here. We've got the bride with his mum and dad. We've a little detail there in the church. We have the groom, a handsome shot of the groom on his own, and maybe one with the lads. Let's see how we roll here. These are all coloured images. Um, so we'll roll with this, pull them over. Five images in total. Let's see what Fundy says. Again, I know that I'm preferring these kind of templates. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm going over here to see what um, what I can find, what I like. Um, kind of like this elegant sort of template here. Yeah, I like the lads in there. Mum and dad don't necessarily need to be too big. Um, just making that symmetrical there. Um, again, middle of the album's coming through this guy a little bit, so we could probably move him slightly. If we want to, that works for me still, that's okay. Um, groom is the main shot here. Now, I'm probably gonna move this photograph of the flowers above the church door to the top because it's a photograph that I've taken looking up and it looks wrong down there. So all I have to do is drag and drop, I think. Yep, 
um, and then bring the groom back into the middle because I liked him there. And these are all the little thoughts going through my head as I design. Um, to me that looks better. Um, I don't think I've missed anything too important out. I've got the details in here. Um, she had some crates and coke bottles and stuff. She was addicted to Diet Coke, this bride. Um, I get to know my brides and grooms pretty well, so I, I know what's important to them. And we've got mom and groom there. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, like the colors there. I'm bypassing a lot of detail because I've got the detail in there. I don't want it to look too busy. Um, right, we'll go on to the next page. That was easy. Um, view. Okay. Right, so the groom got one page of groom prep there and the bride got one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, <laughs> that's normal. Okay, let's see. Right, I probably want to show the groom just waiting now for the bride perhaps. Um, or maybe I'll show that later on as she's about to walk down the aisle. Some, sometimes I will change the... Um, chronological order to suit the visual appearance but I'll show you that in just a moment so I'm going to go to the bride now and get her um, out of the car I think again there was a lot of cars in the car park around this bride um, you know they're not my favorite shots uh, let's see if I even need to show her arrival um, or maybe make it smaller let's see yeah we have to show how she arrived so um, I'll get her coming out of the car here. Yeah, we'll use this one and this one, this one, this one. Okay, I know what I want to do here. So again, four images going onto this page. Um, let's see what Fundy wants to show me. Um, I kind of know just by looking what I want. Um, this one maybe again I don't like all those cars there I'm not sure about that as a main shot let's flip it over and see what happens um, maybe that make that more of a main shot or maybe even this one more of a main shot let's see yeah her and her dad um, I'm really going to make this one smaller so <laughs> And again, that flow, she's getting out of the car, she's at the doors of the church, she's about to go in and get married, and she's turning around to me. Um, I'm happy enough there, so I'm going to go and do my next shot here. We have a lot of colour going on there now, I'm going to interrupt the colour with a nice black and white, and this is the shot I want to use. I like this shot so much that I'm going to just use it on its own, um, and I'm going to off-centre it slightly. I'm going to take this away. And I'm going to flip it over and be very careful when I say flip I mean just moving it over be very careful if you think of flipping images in album design because if they are married <laughs> the ring is going to be on the wrong finger <laughs> and it'll look wrong so um, yeah be very careful about flipping images um, this is my shot for here this is this is what I want to show um, I want the bride when she looks at this image to, it's a very honest image. It's, it's, it's just a 35 millimeter reportage image. Um, I want her to remember how she felt at this particular moment in time. And I think for having this on a page on its own, I think this will be a powerful image. Um, you know, I, I don't mind if she cries during this, looking at this shot. <laughs> I want her to cry. <laughs> um, I want her to feel what she felt when she was standing there because to me, this is one of the most sort of um, maybe emotional times on a, on a wedding morning. Um, what's happening inside the church now is that the groom's waiting. So I'm going to go in and, and get the groom waiting. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're telling the story. So we'll go in here. I think there's a nice black and white shot maybe to match, if I can remember. I'm always shooting for the album. So, you know, I know that I've shot that and I know there's a shot similar of the groom um, sort of waiting. So I'm going to maybe show that. Where do we see? I think there is. Somewhere here we can find it. Maybe there's not. I thought there was. Um, let's see. Okay, well, we'll go with that for now. 
maybe it's early, yeah, it's up here. I'm cheating at this stage. <laughs> um, I know that this shot that I'm about to bring in was taken before that shot, but I think it's going to look better maybe here, but maybe not. Let's see, we, we can always um, change the page order as well. Fundy's brilliant. Um, so we'll put this shot in. Um, again, I don't want it across a, a, a double. I just want to show maybe a little bit of negative space here. So uh, let's see what we can do here. I get rid of this border. There's meant to be an image in there, but I'm taking that away because I can. And um, let's see. In fact, I think the groom will look better coming in before the bride. So it will all be chronological. I just grab my page and drag it over. And I'm happier at that. Yeah, the groom's waiting for the bride. The brides come in and we'll get on with the service. Um, I don't normally do too many pages of the service. Again, it depends on maybe how long the service was or um, how important the service was to the bride and groom or um, if I was even able, if I was e even able to take pictures during the service. Because as you all know, um, sometimes that can be a bit tricky. Um, these days I tend to seek forgiveness afterwards <laughs> and just get on with it. I don't ask anymore. I just shoot unless otherwise stated. <laughs> um, okay, you learn to get cheeky with your experience. <laughs> All right, so I, I just think there's a big part of the album missing. If you can't tell a story about the, you know, the ceremony and I, I tell the priest or the reverend that and usually that's fine. Um, okay, so we'll get here. The groom's waiting at the top of the aisle. He's stood up. He's waiting for the bride to walk down the aisle with her dad. We've got that. Uh, they give each other a little glance there. We can get a bit busier with these pages because there's stuff going on. There's stuff happening. They're not, they're not the most, they're not the most fantastic images in the whole wide world. So we'll, we'll, we can, you know, we can put them together. Um, let's see. Just going to pull a few in, grab a detail to break it up a bit. Okay, and then we're into the vows. So, all right. So again, Fundy's given me an initial template with loads of white space around it. I don't want that. I'm going to go in and, and, and choose a nice little template. So you'll sort of see a bit of consistency with my pages. I don't want them to be too consistent that they're boring, um, but I want them to have a, a, a similar um, a similar feel just for, for, for consistency. Uh, I'm going to go in here, I think. See what this is all about. Again, she walked down the aisle with her dad first, and that's a nice shot. You know, I want again her to feel how she was feeling there. There's the time in there, which is quite nice. She was a little bit late. <laughs> um, he's looking back at her walking down the aisle. We've got a detail. They meet each other. Blah, -de blah, -de blah. Good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's move on. Um, and we'll get on to the vows now. Okay. So the vows, I suppose you always want to show him putting the ring on her, her putting the ring on him. Um, I'm not that keen on signing the register shots anymore or the traditional um, altar shots unless the bride and groom are really into that which my clients aren't, aren't normally thank goodness um, so they tend to be quite small it just keeps the album nice and contemporary and and, and that kind of thing so we'll we'll move into the uh, the vows and we could be out of the out of the church here very soon <laughs> uh, let's see so He's taking the ring. He's going to put it on the bride. I don't even need him taking the ring. He's just going to put the ring on the bride. The bride's going to take the ring and put the ring on him. He's glancing beautifully at my camera. Um, the rings are on. They have a kiss. And a bit of a laugh here, and I might even bring in the sign in the register page here if I'm being really quick about it. Um, I actually prefer the casual signing shots, so um, I wonder should I introduce a black and white here? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's see. I think I have far too many images here, but I can delete them out. There's eight here. <laughs> You'll never normally see me designing a page or a double page with eight or more than eight or nine images. Um, let's see what we can do here. 
Okay. I love this shot of the kiss. Again, it's an important shot. This is his dad in the background, which is really nice. They're just about to kiss, which is always better than the kiss, because the kiss never really looks that nice anyway. And people actually don't like looking at pictures of themselves actually kissing, because they never actually see, it's a psychological thing, they never actually see themselves kissing, so it looks wrong. <laughs> so um, I learn all these things. You, you'll never get a bride and groom choosing a picture of themselves kissing for the wall. You'll never, and that's one of the reasons why. It's just they're just not comfortable with it. So just about to go in for the kiss is a good, good time to, to get it. <laughs> um, okay, so we need to rearrange things here chronologically because they're about to walk out here. The rings are going on here. Um, he puts the ring on first, doesn't he? Yeah, then she puts the ring on. Okay. Then he's happy. We don't really need that image. Take it out. If you don't need it, take it out. That's much better. Um, I'm happy with that, I think. Again, we've got a little black and white one that's sneaked in there. Um, do you know what? I don't even think we need that image. Take it out. Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm happy with that, I think. Again, they can tell me if they want one of the signing the register in. I don't particularly want it in. That, to me, that's okay. That's fine. Um, we'll go on to the next page. Okay, so um, we're about to walk up the aisle. The, I think that's called the recessional. <laughs> um, so a nice black and white of the recessional and maybe a black and white of them standing outside the church. You'll see there's lots of pictures of the guests there coming out of the chapel or the, the church. Um, Generally, I don't really design those in, um, but if they want them in, they can put. They can ask me to put them in, but they'll probably be paying for extra pages at that point. Um, it's 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 not essential that I have those in there. They've got them on their on their USB pen or their disc. Um, to me, it's not the most aesthetic kind of photography for the album. So, um, I I my albums are designed um, and sold uh, with either 30 pages or 50 pages in them. Um, we don't limit the, the client to the amount of images they can put in their album as long as it looks good. Um, but they trust me and if I think they need an extra page in to um, hold the speeches or to hold the first dance, um, they, they, they'll usually be happy enough to take my advice and um, put an extra page or two in. Um, so that's the way we work. Um, it's just about establishing that element of trust and uh, sort of pre-selling to them and telling them, look, you've booked a 30-page album, but you're having the speeches photographed, you're having the first dance photographed, you may need to put extra pages in. Um, the seed's planted, and they're usually totally fine with that. They know the cost. So as long as you're totally upfront um, with your clients um, and develop a, a trust, um, people are usually fine. And at the end of the day, this is my... Um, best marketing material I want it to look good and they know that so um, yeah okay so they're coming up the aisle and we're going to dodge all these guest shots and we're going to grab a nice black and white shot that I know is here and we're going to just pull this in to this page and I think that's all I need um, I keep it quite minimal quite simple there's plenty of other photographs there, but um, I, I don't necessarily need them in. Um, there is a picture there with her grand, grandfather's bicycle, so I'll maybe pull that in and I'll pull them walking away from the church. Um, yep, and then there's a beautiful car shot, which we'll do big. So let's go back to Fundy. What does Fundy say? Um, I'm not that keen on this design the landscape photograph there just doesn't fit in there for me so I'm going to take that shot out and replace it with maybe an upright photograph like maybe something like this to me that looks much better um, I don't like this little bit of space here so I'm going to move this over uh, that's the middle fold there so these guys are kind of central. If you remember, this is a square. This is the left-hand page. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's move on. 
Okay, so they're out of the church now and I want a beautiful car shot. The car shot isn't just a beautiful car shot. Um, the car shot shows them moving in the story from the church to their location or their, their reception venue. So um, I never think of it as just the car shot. Um, it's, it's more of a, a storytelling shot as well. So we'll pull that in. I'm not sure which one of these I want, but I like the color. Um, and this is just on its own on a page because I like the shot. Um, let's see. You'll see I like this little template a lot. <laughs> um, let's see what it looks like on the powerful side of the page, the right hand side. Again, I'm not flipping the photograph, I'm just moving it um, across. Yep, there's nothing dodgy in the crease in the middle there. Uh, I'm happy with that. You could add another photograph there if you wanted, if you think it looks wrong like that. But I think this looks good. Shows off her hair. We've got the nice side of her sleeve there. We're always thinking about the dress. What can we show off best? You've got her earrings there. Totally happy. Um, we're going to move on to the location now. Uh, we'll go to the next page. It's easy. <laughs> Again, I have to fix page one, two and three up because there's too much black and white there. But we'll go back and do that towards the end. Okay. Right, so we're at the location now. Um, we shot the bridal party first here and let them go on because there was a bridesmaid that had just had a baby and she was about to collapse. <laughs> so we kind of had to work quite fast. A nice little bit of light came out um, and we got some backlight. So we're gonna just drag that image in here and see how that looks. Again, I haven't done one of these photographs yet um, or on, a, on a full page, edge to edge but the quality is high enough to um, allow that. Again, I have to be careful where the center spread is, but I think I'm happy with that, or should I do this? Um, I'll go with this one for now. I, I could drag in a big one, but to me, I like the little bit of um, negative space there. Um, maybe just cutting the girls off. You see the way it looks like their legs are sort of cut off there. I think I'm going to just bring it down just to where the dress is kind of touch the edge of the frame there. To me, that looks good visually. Okay, love the expressions. Um, so we're going to go with that. Right. Okay. Yeah, we've got girls and boys there, which is kind of nice. We, we grabbed one of those shots before we let the bridal party go on. <laughs> so um, again, lovely light coming through there. If you want to see any of your pictures bigger on the left hand side, you can just double click, I think. Oh, yeah, And you see it bigger and you can flick between shots to see what you like. Um, there's even a love heart there. <laughs> um, so I'll go out of that. Um, just save every so often as well because you don't want this to suddenly disappear on you. So um, if I save back to the bridal party, um, I'm just going to grab some pictures of the uh, girls and the boys um, because um, again, I was, I was shooting for the album and I grabbed some shots of the girls and the boys at left and maybe right hand side of the page. So um, that kind of speeds you up as well when you know kind of what you've, you've shot to go in the album. So I'm just going to run down and find those shots here. Again, we're keeping this chronological at the moment. I'm going to grab a little backlit shot here of the girls and a little backlit shot of the lads, if I can find them, something like this. Yep. And I'm going to pull them into my double page spread, which is one page. Okay, so you'll see here I'm kind of breaking my own rules. Um, I don't want to um, designate importance to either the, the, the girls or the boys. So I'm, I'm, I'm keeping them equal size on this page. Um, and also I'm, I'm not going edge to edge. Um, and I'm kind of treating it as a left and a right hand page. So I'm kind of breaking the rules a wee bit, but I'm confident that it looks good and I'm going to use this template again I think maybe for the families later on in the album so that I haven't just thrown this in out of nowhere there's going to be another page that looks like this um, the other thing I want to bring your attention to with this page is I have been shooting for the album as I go along I keep saying that but I do it makes things a lot easier 
there's backlight in both of these photographs. That's why they work so, together, so well together on the page together. Um, if I'd photographed the boys in a different context, um, maybe in shade or in a different place, it wouldn't look as good on the page. So you're achieving the consistency here um, with the light as well. Um, another point to make is um, you would never, if we go back in the album a little bit, for example, um, maybe here, you would never put a photograph um, here that looks really, really happy and then a photograph here that maybe looks um, more romantic or um, moody because you're portraying two different moods on the one page. So it's, it's, it's kind of important to me that you've got the consistency of, of mood with the bride and groom too. Um, because I'll always ask for different sort. If I if I'm directing a shot, I'll always ask for maybe a a, a, a more romantic feel to a photograph or a fun um, or, or more thoughtful. Um, and I would never combine different um, genres of of feeling on the page together because um, it's just not going to work. Okay, especially if you're designing a, a page in full. Um, over two spreads. So we'll go back to our um, bridal party there. We've got the girls and lads done. Um, I'm happy with that. So we'll move on to the next page. Um, this is going to be a hero shot because I shot this to go on a page on its own and I am going to use this shot. Again, you could probably get away with that over the whole page on its own, but the middle line of the page is coming through her eye and the eye is one of the most important parts of the photograph. So I'm going to go to layouts and grab maybe an off-centered layout, my favorite. <laughs> um, see, my brides see these layouts in their sample albums that they come to see before the wedding as well. So they're not surprised there's a bit of white space here. Again, I'm gonna flip it over because the right-hand page is more powerful. It's the first page you look at when you look through an album. I'm happy with that. There's nothing distracting going through his, you know, it's just the back of his head, so that's fine. Um, and back to layouts, or back to back to the main album. Okay, if I can remember how to get there. <laughs> All right, so um, you'll see here with the next page that I'm going to design, I'm going to use two images, and they're both of a very similar color palette. They're both down at the lake, so I'm going to maybe use uh, this one here, for example, um, and maybe one of the bride. I think I took one of the bride on her own. Yeah, something like this. So I'm gonna pull these two in. I know vaguely what I want to do. Again, I don't want any white around it. If I, if I go to the album layout and you look at my, or if I go to the whole album layout and you look at my pages, this isn't consistent with all the rest. And there's, there's white around it and it just doesn't look quite right. So I want something like this, I think. But this is an upright photograph. Um, so I don't want it to be changed to a landscape. Um, so it's gone, Fundy has been very clever and it's made it upright there for me. It must have heard what I was saying. <laughs> um, okay, that's not the shot I want in there. It just seems too high up in the frame for me. There, there's a bit of a horizon line here and a, you, a, wee, a wee trick visually that I've come to know is that if there's a horizon line maybe in this shot, it should probably match up with the horizon line in this shot just for consistency. It's a minor detail, um, but it can, it can make the difference to the, 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 you know, if you've gone to the effort of shooting a beautiful wedding, you may as well go to the effort of, of um, making a beautiful album. Let's see what this looks like. Too big, too big, too small. Um, again, I like that image, so I can go into Fundy and just magnify the image slightly, making sure that I'm not losing too much quality. Um, and I can actually match up horizon lines there. If you see what I'm doing, I'm not so keen on the fence there. Plus, I'm getting close to the center of the album, so I'm going to pull back to where the fence is nearly off shot. So they're almost in the middle of this page, this square page. And you can see here the tiny detail. The, the jetty and the little line here almost match up. Almost, but not quite. My background's in jewellery design, so um, I'm quite precise. <laughs> I'm actually very precise. Um, 
I shoot to the millimeter. I don't normally crop. You, you, you don't see me going in here and, and making big crops or anything, but that's just the way I shoot. I, I shoot to the millimeter and I, I put that down to my background. Um, okay, so flying on, we're nearly there. We're gonna do another shot at the location. We will, there's a beautiful shot here that I love at the doors of this location. And then a little shot maybe in the playroom of the house. So um, they're standing outside the house and then they're going inside. And that's perfect for me. That's all I want there. Again, I may tweak this slightly just to maybe get the drain pipe out of the shot. Um, you can just simply, again, I'm not losing any quality here, but I don't like that drain pipe. So I'm just enlarging slightly and getting rid of that. Yeah, that's good for me. And moving on to the next page. Okay. This is going to be a big album. <laughs> right, we're going to go back to the, the hotel now and we're just going to throw in a few families. I'm going to grab, I usually shoot an extended family photograph and an immediate family photograph. I'm going to just put in two extended family photographs, grannies and all. So we've got his extended family there and we've got her extended family somewhere there too, I think, with granny and grandpa. Uh, so we'll put those in and I'll go and find the template that I want, which is that one. Um, and I'm very happy with that. Again, that matches up with my girls and boys shot. I might go in and see which family photograph I prefer most. You know, I could go in and drag in another shot to see if it's better. But I'm, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to fly on for now um, to the next page. Uh, view. Okay. Uh, we're nearly towards the end. These guys' um, coverage was right into the night. So we've got the family photographs there. Um, we're going to do a couple of little shots of the room and the cake, obviously. Um, but again, I'll not go overboard on those. I might just put that all on one page. Um, the bride was very creative and made a lot of stuff herself. So this has to be shown. Um, so we're going to put in, this is going to be the busiest page probably you'll, you'll ever see me design. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so we had a bit of afternoon tea, a table plan. Um, some flowers in a suitcase, bit of vintage thing going on there. She had handmade these table or the napkins. She'd cross stitched the um, names on the tables. Little details of flowers. The brother-in-law had made the sweetie card. So I find out a lot of information. <laughs> um, so you can kind of tell what the important shots are. So I imagine the details just small at the side and maybe um, them walking into the room and a few shots of people with their masks on and some speeches. Now I'm going really quick here. Um, usually I'll try and get a, his da, the main speakers, you know. Um, that takes me back as well to the church. If there's speakers in the church, um, I shoot them because you'll get in bother if you don't shoot all the speakers. But very rarely do they make the album. There's a record of them there but I don't think they need to be put in the album. Um, my clients can tell me otherwise and buy an extra page if they want <laughs> um, and ruin the album design. Anyway, and I'll tell them that. Uh, here we go. Let's pull a few shots in here and see what we can do. Um, what I'll normally do during the speeches as well, I'll photograph the speeches being spoken. So I'll photograph the action and I'll also photograph the reaction from the guests and I'll pile them all together on a page so it tells more of a story. Okay, you want to know who, this, who, this, who they're talking to. Um, okay, so let's see. People laughing, people having a good time. Little cameras on the tables, right. This is, oh, 22 images, too much. <laughs> Far too busy. Um, I've grabbed too much. Let's see what Fundy says. So yeah, this is totally inconsistent with the rest of the album. So we'll, we'll skim it down a little. Let's see. Too many details. Um, oh, and the cake shot. I think the cake shot is going to go in here big. So I'll, I'll pull back the cake shot here. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's nice and calm. 
Um, this is all getting a bit busy for me, so I don't need a shot of the camera on the table. Um, they're walking in details. We've already got the flowers at the church. Don't need the posies. There's a bit of afternoon tea there, a table plan up at this top. Again, even these are in chronological order. You don't want them walking in down at the bottom. It looks like they're walking out. <laughs> so uh, they're walking in to their reception. So it's at the start. Um, don't need the vintage flowers. They're already photographed. That's okay. Do need the table plan. Do need the napkins. She made those herself. Um, we've got mum and dad in there. I probably need to get her dad if he was speaking, doing a speech because I've got his dad in. So I'll go back and find her dad. He did do a speech at some point there. Let's see. Dad, where are you? Hmm. I'm sure I did. Maybe he didn't speak. Oh, he did. I've got him in there. Let's see. That's his dad. Where is her dad? He was very shy. There he is. One shot of him. Thank God for that. Um, and we'll pop him in. There's too many of the groom doing the shot there, speech there. So yeah, he can go there. Um, you can take that out. The colours in that room aren't particularly nice. Um, make the bride and groom bigger there. Um, I'm happy enough with that. Again, even down to details. Um, if the father of the father of the groom is talking to the mother and he's looking that way, probably put him towards the left. And then these girls that are looking that way are looking at him doing the speech. So it all tells a story. Okay, I think I'm happy enough at that. Details and everything in there. Yep, it's busy enough here, but we've got this nice, consistent kind of big image. Um, I'm happy at that. There's a bit of dancing coming up now and then a killer shot towards the end. So we will save again, just in case. Um, <laughs> all right. So a bit of dancing, perhaps a little bit of dancing. Um, let's see. Let's see, we'll just choose a few random shots here. Let's see. Again, these can be busier pages if you want them to be, you know, because it's a not a busier time of the day, but dance floor is busy. You know, you can you can get away with having a bit of a busier page here. Um, but if you've one killer shot of them, maybe having the dance, have that as the large one. That's the way I, I would roll and think. Um, even a sequence, if she's looking groovy on the dance floor, a little sequence of her being groovy on the dance floor. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see how many images I have there to pull in. Not too many. Let's see what Fundy says. Let's see if we can add some order to the chaos. Um, again, I never look over here. It's too much. This is where I am really comfortable. Um, let's see. Again, the little girl is not going to be the big shot here. So maybe move them over. Um, let's see. Not sure if she'd appreciate that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, the two of them in here maybe. Yeah. Okay. So something like that maybe and a few shots here is fine for now. I may refine that towards the end of the album. And then a final page. I have photographed a photograph for the final page in mind. Um, we're going to do the Edward Hopper inspired shot here. It could go over two pages, but again, I'm going to... Mm, it's quite nice there, actually, like that. Yeah, because there's a line down the middle here. You've got J and T, Gemma and Tim here. And then you've got the bride and groom here. Allowing for a little bit of bleed. Yep, that's good for me. And I think that is the album designed. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. Again, a quick glance through making sure you haven't forgotten anything. You've got consistent layouts there. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is the way the album starts, where you've got black and white, black and white, black and white. I actually don't think I need that page. And I don't think the, the bride is going to add extra pages to that extent. So I'm going to take this 
out. Yep, I'm going to take that out. And I might, and I don't like the landscape shot here with the landscape shot here. This, is, this, this deserves to be an upright image. Um, I think that's the final change I want to make. So I'm going to go and find an upright image that suits that page like that. That's the one. Fundy's very intuitive. It's put the, land, the upright image in for me. I'm not so keen on this, but this was photographed through the door. I'm not so keen on that big um, black bit. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of it by just enlarging the image slightly. So you can always tweak it that way. Um, actually, that's okay, I think. I don't want to completely hide the fact that it's through a doorway. Um, again, viewing it as a complete picture. Story-wise, you can look at it overall here. Groom, bride, 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 mom and dad. Church, do, 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 leaving the church. Yep, I'm very happy with that. And then all we have to do then is export it um, and prepare it for proof. The bride will always see the album um, prior to approving it. Um, hopefully with not too many changes. Okay, so this is the actual album um, as seen in print. Uh, you'll never fully, I don't think, appreciate it on screen, nor will your client. So uh, the, the, this is actually, I don't know if I, I said to you, this is the um, album that won the um, PPNI album of the year this year. Um, like I say, one of the key things I think to successful album design, I, I know some of you may struggle with album design, that's why you've tuned in. Um, one of the most successful um, things for my album design is that I have creative control over what images go into the album um, and the layout. Um, I, I, I think that's imperative, really. Um, I think you need to trust yourself and not your clients. Um, my background's in design, so I, I totally trust myself with the design. Um, my, my client would probably pile 20 photographs onto this page and it's going to look messy and horrible. So I think whenever whenever your clients see and can visualize the album that you've pre-designed for them, um, I, 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 you know, there's never normally too many changes um, to be had there. Um, I export directly from Fundy. There's other software you can use as well, like Smart Albums and, and, and some software com comes with um, the album company. Um, so that they're all pretty similar. Um, I export from Fundy um, and I proof with my clients via email. Um, they can come and see me in the studio if they want to. Um, and usually if they do that, you'll usually get a higher um, uh, sales, you know, after sales thing. But a lot of them are living abroad in Australia and stuff and they can't get in to see me. So we do proofing um, on, on internet, on, on the email. Um, but uh, like I say, there's not, not usually too many changes. Um, you'll see here from, from the album here, um, that's been designed. Um, the quality of the photographs as well. Um, clients always remark whenever they come to collect their albums that the photographs are so clear. Um, and it's, it's your best marketing material. Uh, you know, you're, you're, like I say, your your clients are. It's a bit cheeky, but your clients are. And I'll tell my clients this: you, you're paying me to to market my work. Um, so I want it to be good. Um, it's, it's 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 my best marketing material. It's it's you know we get a lot of our, our referrals through word of mouth, um, and. I know that a lot of you maybe are, are, are selling USBs only and, and, and DVDs only, um, but I, I do truly believe that um, for the um, album, for it to be appreciated, for the photographs to be appreciated, um, they, they, they need to be printed and in an album. Uh, you can see here the colour palette flowing really nicely here. Um, again, my, my skylines don't actually match up as well as they do here, but We'll overlook that. Your clients will never see everything that you see. They'll never see the tiny little details, but if there's something wrong in the album, there's something not visually correct, they may notice, and you don't know what your, 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 your clients' um, backgrounds are. They might be in, in design themselves, or even photographers. Um, so yeah, you can, you can see the quality of the, of the album design there, um, and the, the, the touch and feel of the pages. Um, it's appealing to another sense as well. So you've got touch and feel, and 
sight and even the smell of the album and the leather you know it's all it's all um aesthetic and and um to do with the senses and emotions so um hopefully hopefully that's um that's helped you with your struggle with album design. It can be a very simple process. Um, it can be quicker. The, the, the software has certainly speeded me up, um, as has 11 years experience. <laughs> so um, if, if you want any more information or have any questions, um, please do feel free to drop me an email. My website is www.sarahfife.com.